When Christ said, go ye into all nations, why did he say that? Because here's a prophecy of what would happen to our people. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. Why would we be scattered amongst the nations? Because we broke God's commandments, we went into slavery. So when Christ came on the scene, it was under the Roman Empire. He told the disciples, go and teach all nations. Why? Because the Israelites were scattered in all nations by the time Christ came on the scene. Now we're really scattered now in this day and age. We must go forth and gather our lost people. Jesus is a black man. So who are talking about? He's not a black man. He's a black man. Okay, you all get it straight. We're everywhere. Beats. Hop on the ship, this ain't no trip, you best believe we on our way This for the 12, we came to get you out of hell, we on our way Oh, I hop on the ship, this ain't no trip, you best believe we on our way This for the 12, we came to get you out of hell, we on our way I said we on our way. I said we on our way. I way, I way. I said we on our way. Oh, I, oh, I, I said we on our way. What does Christ got to do with slaves, right? Well, good, he gets 26, real quick. I'm going to show you something. Verse 14, start at 14. Read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 14. You're going to understand is the only reason why Jesus Christ came is because the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are in captivity. Right. right. His whole purpose is a deliverance. Read. What if ye will not hearken unto me, Go ahead. and will not do all these commandments, uh -huh. and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment. If the Israelites abhor God's law, statutes, and commandments, like the brother was bringing out pants, interracial marriage, breaking the law of Sabbath day, right? We abhorred those things. We hated those things. So what happened to us? Read. So that ye will not do all my commandments, uh -huh. but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. Most High God said, if we break these commandments, he's going to do this to us now. What is he going to do? Read. I will even appoint over you terror. Our people are a terrorized people today. Right. It's a terrorized people. It's, ter it's terrorized when the police come. You think they're going to come and handle the matter, and they, they shoot you down. Right. Our people live in terror today. Bring it out. The Most High said he's going to appoint over you terror. The KKK, they hang you from trees. You can't, you don't even get proper justice. What? You don't even get proper justice in your own communities. No. Why? Because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments. He's going to do what? Appoint over you what? I will even appoint over you terror. Our people are terrorized. They're the real terrorists. Right. They're the ones breaking up our household. They're the ones raping, robbing, and murdering our women right. and children. You understand? That's the terror the most I allowed them to put on us for our disobedience. But read on. Consumption Go ahead. and the burning ague Go ahead. that shall consume the eye. All those different diseases, read on. And cause sorrow of heart. Sorrow of heart. Depression. That's why you have all the drug abuse in our communities today. You have the addiction to, to, to drinking alcoholism, smoking cigarettes. All those different things our people do is because of the sorrow of mind. Right. We're right. trying to get we're trying to take ourselves to another place. We're trying to go into another place where we don't have to deal with the terror and the sorrow and the captivity that we're dealing with today. Right. Read on. And ye shall sow your seed in vain. Go ahead. For your enemies shall eat it. Our enemies are eating off of our backs and the labor that we put in. Right. We sow our seed in vain now. So that nine to five job that they give us 10, 12, 15 dollars an hour for, they're making millions, millions of dollars off of that $10, $15 that they give us. Right. We sow our seed in vain. Read. 
and I will set my face against you. Most High is against his people today. He's against the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Right. That's why we have no ease in this country. Right. Right. That's why we keep looking for justice and judgment when our people get shot down, uh, mistreated, right. get thrown in prisons, all those different things. Right. Most High's face is against us right now. Read. Right. Right. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You shall be slain before your enemies. Read. They that hate you. They that what? They that hate you. Shall do what? Shall reign over you. Now the brother had a question about Christ. And what does Christ got to do with slavery? Christ has everything to do with slavery. Give me Luke chapter 1. Bring it out. Verse 68. Bring it, it says, out. They that hate you shall reign over you. Right? Read that. Luke chapter 1, then you come back up. Luke, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Go ahead. Go. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What we're doing out here today is showing you who you are. Bring, opening our eyes now. Taking the blinders off of our eyes so that we can wake up to the truth. Wake up to who we are so that, we, so that Christ return and get us out of this captivity here. Right, read on. For he hath visited and redeemed his the most people. High God visited and redeemed his people. How? He allowed his son to die on a cross for us. Right. And we want to give that to everybody else. Burrito! We want to give that to the so-called white man. We want to give that to the so-called Asian man. We want to give that to the so-called Arab man. Right. But they're not in captivity. Right. We're the ones suffering on this earth here. Right. right. And this Bible is written for us. That's right. Read on. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. In the house of his servant David. That guy raised up a horn of salvation for who? For us. For, no, for the whole world. For us. For Israel. Look it up. That is it. The Bible right. does not talk about Christ being raised up for anybody else. That's right. right. On. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Everything in the Old Testament that the Christian church wants us to go away from. They don't want us to read the Old Testament. Right. Yet they're quoting the Old Testament there. Right. It said the purpose of Christ was written about in the Old Testament. So how are we supposed to learn Christ if we don't deal with the Old Testament? Right. Read, out. Read on. Which have been since the world began. Read. That we should be saved. We shall be what? We should be saved. We shall be what? From We should be saved. From who? From our enemies. He says, they that hate you shall reign over you. Your enemies are the ones that's going to be reigning, reigning over you. Right. So what is the purpose of Christ? That we shall be what? That we should be saved. That we shall be saved from who? From our enemies. And who else? And from the hand of all that hate and us. And from the hand of all that hate us. Right. 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 What you'll find that on this earth here is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the most hated on this planet here. Right. 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 And Jesus Christ came to deliver the slaves from captivity. Right. To raise his people back up so that we can then be rulers. Give right. me Isaiah 14. Bring it up. Verse 1, and then I'm going to let the teacher come up. Bring it up. You must understand. Then read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Go ahead. Bring it up. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. You're going to have mercy on Jacob by what? By Jesus Christ dying on the cross and redeeming us. Read. And will yet choose Israel. Will yet choose who? Choose Israel. That's clear as day. He's not talking about every every nationality on this earth here. Read. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. They're going to join onto us. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Guess what? All these nations now that are oppressing us, that are living off of us, that profit and benefit for having their stores in our community, Having their old bodega gas station in our community, having they whatever they doing, that selling our head, selling their hair to our women, they get they become billionaires over our oppression, yeah. over our self hatred, right. our lack of worshiping the true God, a black Messiah. Yeah. Right. That image there has our people hating each other, our women hating themselves. Right. Yeah. That yeah. image right there. The true image is brought out so that we can bring us back to who we are. Right, right, so that right. we can stop selling drugs to our people. Right. So that we can stop shooting our people down. Right. So that we can learn to love our women and children. That's right. Right. Take care of them. Be men. Be women of the Lord. Not being niggas, thugs, spit thoughts. That's not what we were raised up. Right. Right. We should not be proud to be that. Teach. Jesus Christ did not die for that. Right. Right. Read on. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Bring it the up. Lord will have 
mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're gonna cleave to the house of Jacob, read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. The people are gonna take us and bring them to our place. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land. So you telling me we're gonna possess people? When Christ redeems us, what is he going to then do for us? Read out. What's the purpose of us coming out of captivity if we're not going to be rulers? You think we're going to come out of captivity and do what? Hold hands with the same people that raped, robbed, murdered, oppressed us? Read it out. Taught us lies? Bring it out. Whipped our backs, told us we can't read. Killed us if we try to read. Right. Then showed us this. Right. Told us that what the Bible's about, that white image right there. And we believe the thing. Now we can read, so they give us new versions of the Bible. So we can be reading the wrong damn thing. That's why that's what they're thinking. Read on. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. The house of Israel is going to possess them. Read. For servants and handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captives. They shall take them captives. We're captives now. We don't have our own name. We don't have our own land. We don't own a damn thing on this earth here. We are captives, but what are we going to do through Christ? Free. And they shall take them captives. We're going to take them captives who's what? Whose captives they were. That is the purpose of Jesus Christ. Right. That's what Christ has to do with slavery. That's right. right. Read on. And they shall rule over their oppressors. They shall do what? They shall rule over their oppressors. No, they should hold hand in hand little black boys and little white girls. Little black boys and little white boys, we all hand in hand and walk into the kingdom together. Read up. And there they, is no kingdom without a ruling class and a servant class. Two. Right. If you don't want to be a ruler, you do not want to be the you want to be a slave. Right. Right. If you don't want to be a ruler, you want to be a slave. Yeah. Right. Period. There is no 50-50 in the kingdom. Right. Just like there is no 50-50 in your household. Right. There Read is out. no 50-50 nowhere when it comes with God. Read you got a ruler right. and you got a servant. Christ came to read 60, read Luke 1 verse 71 again. Bring it out. This is why Christ came. Christ has everything to do with slavery. Read That's right. why we bring out Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Right. The slave ship. Right. That's why we show the oppression and the curses. Ask the brother, is a curse a good thing or bad thing? He ain't playing around and he living a damn curse. Right. He don't know who the hell he is. Living in the ghettos and slums, it's a curse, man. And we all live this thing. Right. But we think it's good to not be able to know you step out your house and you don't know if you're going to get shot. Right. All women walking out the house don't know if they're going to get raped. Yeah, bring it out. And they make foolish ass music degrading yourselves and your people. Right. right. And we glorify that thing, thinking it's cool. Wake yeah. the hell up, read on. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. Well, that we shall be saved. That we shall be saved from who? From our enemies. They that had us captives, they're going to be our captives when we are delivered from Jesus Christ. That's that right. Messiah, when we fought, come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It's not coming right. back to our heritage. Finish it off. And from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers. The mercy promised to our fathers, not everyone's fathers. Right. And to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is our fathers. Right. That's right. Right. It's not the so-called white man's father. Right. Read. And to remember his holy covenant. And to remember his holy covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. So to answer right. that, brother, what the hell is, what the slavery got to do with Jesus Christ, that's everything to do with Jesus Christ. Right. We would not know Christ today if we wasn't enslaved today. Right. Because that's how we waking up. We're waking up through our oppression. Right. That's right. how the Most High deals with his people. Right. And he sends his prophets out to teach this word of God so that you can get the sense and Lord's will you repent and start keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Learn the Sabbath day. Learn not to marry interracially. Learn the dietary laws. Learn these things that these teachers are bringing out. Right. This is what's going to make you a ruler and not a slave. Right. Right. So that Christ did not come in vain. And he's not going to come. He didn't come in vain. Either you win it or you're not. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC. 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.